Good day, folks. Thanks for tuning in again. So the last round in part two of the um, high power 177 pallet, I couldn't push the gun too hard. I had it at standard factory settings and I decided, oh, what the heck? The gun is made because of its adjustability. It's there to be used. So I used it. I'll put the specs in the description field below again. Below again, the rig is set about 145 bar. The hammer spring is almost maxed out. The valve is all the way up, open at four lines. So I'm going to shoot at maximum power 30 foot pound with a 177. Yep, you heard it right, 30 foot pound. In the previous video, the maximum I could push it to was around about 20 foot pound, but today we're going to push it to 30. And I'm only going to shoot three pallets today. I'm going to shoot the Air Arms 10.3 grainers, and these guys are going to run in excess of 1,050 feet per second on the maximum setting. Then I'm going to run the JSB Redesign Monsters in 13.43 grain and the last one up for a shave is the Beasts at 16.2 but I'm going to do two variants to this first and foremost I've got the 600ml barrel on here and the normal 480cc bottle at the front for the second round I'm going to reduce this back to the compact to what it was made for I'm going to put in the 500ml barrel and the 300cc bottle in the front with the short little silencer that's on there to keep it as standard as possible but the rig will still get 150. So two experiments. Can high power be efficient in 177 up to 30 foot pounds? Is there any accuracy left there? Secondly, I'm going to test the differences between the 600ml barrel and the 500ml barrel as well. And then lo and behold, I hope to shoot these elephant enemas at a greater accuracy than previously when it was way too slow. So. Hold on to your hats, we're going to get right into the shooting. The air arms in 10.3 grain. Obviously with a higher power setting, my air efficiency is not that good, so I'll have to refill in between every magazine, basically. Alright, let's go for this. Let's go for this. Power setting 1. Right, before I go measure up, first initial impression, running at anywhere between 980 feet per second all the way to 1060. The 10 grainers didn't like that as well as much. The gun didn't like it either. I could actually hear the gun is not on its sweet spot currently, so the settings for 150 bar is not correct for this gun with 177s. But it's set up, let's go measure. Would it be safe to say? that the 10 grainers don't like 20 foot pound and upwards i would think so anything above 20 pound 22 pounds just too fast for these aa 10.3 grainers in the 600 millimeter barrel there was almost no grouping slight grouping at 984 and a slight grouping at 1050 but otherwise this is just wasting lead let's move on to something a little bit heavier time for the 13.4 three grainers the monsters this won't make you sleep at night it's nightmare stuff all right let's go for this don't think I have to go and measure that. I'll put the photo up in any case, but I can sum that up with one word. Yuck! Oof. Wow, that was ugly. So, at the moment these things pick up speed, so the accuracy goes out the window. But let's show you guys the final results and talk about it quickly. There was only one speed that worked at 855 feet per second. The others were yuck. All right. Let's go on to something even heavier. All right, last one with the 600 millimeter barrel. This is the Beasts in 16.2 grain. Same routine, power setting one all the way up to max. Alright, that 
was very interesting. On power setting 2, 3 and 4, immaculate groupings. So I'll, we, you've probably seen the speed there, but I'll show you guys on the summary as well what the speeds were for that. That was quite impressive. Power setting 5, one flyer, and then on power setting 6, it started to open up. But the beasts were a heck of a lot better at 33 foot pound than the monsters or the normal heavies. Right? Let's go and summarize that for you guys and then we're gonna put in the 500 mil barrel as well as this short little stubby stubby wubby little bottle in front as well. Shorter barrel, shorter bottle, same idiotic shooter. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I was almost ready to detune this gun again and bring out the 0.22 barrel and pallet probe until I met the beast and the beast was a beast to beastly behold. They love speed from 825 feet per second or 20 foot pound all the way up to 908 feet per second or 29.7 foot pound. The beasts really impressed. Maybe there's space for a high power 177 after all. But now it's time to do a swap and go back to the 500 mil barrel. So I zeroed the guns in between battle changes, so it should be spot on from the word go. Only one way to find out, and that's to shoot it. Right, so almost the same results as with the 600 mil but speeds were definitely slower and because of the slower speed I actually got some type of grouping on power setting 1 and power setting 2 but the moment I push these guys close to a thousand feet per second no go alright so high power and 10 grains definite no go let's quickly have a look at the summary and the results and then we can go on to the next one the only reason for the better grouping with the 500 millimeter barrel is because of the slower speed have a look at the two when the speed is almost the same. The difference between the 500 mil and the 600 mil barrels groupings. It doesn't seem that there's much of a difference between the two barrels, although the 600 tends to group slightly better than the 500 mil at this stage. One thing that is very, very obvious is the power difference between the two barrels. The 500 mil barrel runs definitely a lot slower than the 600 mil barrel. In the slower speeds or the power setting one, there was a two foot pound difference between the two. But as you compress that air a little bit more up to the top end, there was only a one foot pound difference. But still, that is a significant difference in speed between the two barrels. Myth busted. Monster redesigns, 500 mil barrel, 13.43 grains, six targets. Oh wow, that's nice. That's disappointing. Let me rather stop shooting, even though I've got some pallets left in the magazine. That's just frustrating. But there was also some bright sparks there on power setting one and two. So obviously these redesigns don't like the faster speed, but they do love the slower speed. Let's go and measure up. The monster redesigns grouped exceptionally at 800 feet per second, which is quite slow at only 19.1 foot pound, but that was quite weird. These guys are supposed to be there for the FAC guns or the high power guns. And I also saw an excellent grouping at 839 feet per second. But the moment I pushed it beyond these limits, it started opening. And then from there on, nah, nothing to smell or sneeze about. But if we look at the difference again between the 500 mil barrel and the 600 mil barrel, well, the 600 mil barrel absolutely hated these pallets as well. They just did not perform at a higher speed. They actually loved the slower speed. We are those. The difference in power between the two was quite significant with about a two foot pound spread from bottom to top all the way right through. Last one for today. 
JSB Beasts in 16.2 grain, power setting one, let's rip it. Alright, some interesting observations there. Slower speed, no go, not at all. It only started the regrouping above 800 feet per second, which is not too shabby. Let me go and post the final results for you, and then we can do a conclusion between the 500mm barrel, the 600mm barrel, and high power, yes or no, in 177. Don't you just love it when the plan comes together? With both the barrels, the 500mm and the 600mm, both of them started grouping at 825 feet per second and all the way up then to the maximum of 910 feet per second. So these beasts, they live like a beast of speed as well. They don't like the slow stuff at all, so they won't work on a sub 12 foot pound gun, only built for high power guns in this scenario. That was very interesting. Let's quickly have a look at the power output graph between the 500mm and the 600mm. And as you can see, again, there's a massive difference between the two barrels. So if you want that little bit more power, a little bit more speed, opt for a longer barrel. All right, please hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are first in line to watch the new video coming soon. Thank you guys. That's all, folks.